Hey kids, guess where we're going? The, the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Plaza. Plaza. That's right, the Wi. The Wi-Fi Plaza was an upgrade to the Wi-Fi Club that was accessible in Pokémon Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. It was a fun way to interact with friends, utilizing the Nintendo DS's responsive touchscreen and revolutionary Wi-Fi connection. But these Wi-Fi services for the DS were discontinued in uh, 2014, I think it was. Now, there are still unofficial ways to access services like this, but even if I did, I don't think there'd be anybody online to play with, and I don't think I could convince anybody I know to join. So there go my weekend plans. But through the power of imagination, let's take a look back at the Wi-Fi Plaza. After connecting through that sweet loading screen, you can enter the Wi-Fi Plaza, and you'll be in a room themed to either grass, fire, water, electric, or apparently a secret Mew-themed room? I had no idea that was a thing, but apparently it is, hey, that's pretty cool. But these are only for show, because a group of about 20 players will be placed into a single room. So this was meant to show that each time is a different experience. But personally, I like the water theme best, because it fits the overall online aesthetic Pokemon was using during the 4th generation. And Water-type Pokémon are also pretty cool. And once you're inside, there are a whopping three different minigames that you can play. You could either start your own queue or join someone else's of up to four players. Anytime we can get minigames like this in Pokémon, I think it's a fun time. They're simple, but utilize the touchscreen and Pokémon theming well enough. Minigame number one, Swolot Pop. Here, a rotating Swalot waits to receive berries. You use the touchscreen to fling berries into Swalot's mouth when it faces you. Each berry gets you 100 points, and making consecutive shots will get you even more points. In the second round of the game, berries are worth more points, and Swalot opens and closes its mouth while spinning, increasing the difficulty. Obviously, you win by scoring the most points out of the four players. A fun little game, although more often than not, the wait time to actually get in would be longer than the actual game. Just like a real amusement park. Mark. But I really like this one, it's actually my favorite of the minigames in the Wi-Fi Plaza. At first, I thought it was kind of odd to use Swalot of all Pokémon, because this is Generation 4, but in concept, Swalot is a Pokémon that just fits really well. It's got a big mouth and round body shapes, so it's perfect for this type of game. 10 out of 10. Minigame number 2, Mime Top. A mime wind-up toy balances atop a circus ball. You use the touchscreen to spin the ball and help keep its balance. Whoever maintains balance the longest and or more consecutively wins. It's still basically just touchscreen controls with relatively similar motions to the last game, but it's definitely fun. In this game, all of the action is on the bottom screen while the top screen displays whatever the other players are doing, displaying their failures for all to see. Again, the Pokémon fits the theming of the game pretty well, but extra points for using a Pokémon that was introduced in Generation 4, and had something of a mascot status at the time. Mime Jr. is best mime, 9 out of 10. Minigame number 3, Wobbuffet Pop. In this minigame, players use the touchscreen to pump a Wobbuffet balloon until it pops. Overall, it's another case of excellent theming because Wobbuffet is literally just a balloon that you're supposed to bop anyway. 8 out of 10. This is a minigame where everybody works together to complete a single task, rather than competing against each other. But why would anyone want to work together? Well, that's because winning minigames allows you to upgrade your tap toy, which is a little button that takes up the touchscreen while you're in the main plaza. These just do little things on the top screen, like making sound or allowing the player to float with a balloon. Just a fun little thing because you need to put something on the touchscreen. But I think it fits into the Wi-Fi Plaza overall because winning games allows you to get prizes like this. And this is just something extra and neat that you're able to do only in the Wi-Fi Plaza. There are other small things like placing footprints, taking surveys, and viewing profiles. But again, they're just small side things and on top of that are already in the side mode for the Pokemon games. Not anything I think anybody would be dying to connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi services for. Even though it seems like there isn't a whole lot to do in the Wi-Fi Plaza aside from the mini games, it's actually fine because the whole experience was meant to only last about 20 to 30 minutes. Once a session reaches this point, you're forcefully booted out, but not without a parade. I think this is a cool way to mark the end of a play session. It could have easily been an unceremonious exit back to the loading screen, but maintaining the theming of the Wi-Fi Plaza with a parade to end the night after the sunset is just perfect. The floats in the parade also correspond to the theme of the room selected at the beginning. There's just something about this giant Piplup float that feels so right for Generation 4. 
But that's pretty much all the Wi-Fi Plaza has to offer. Mostly, it's a way to play these cool minigames with other players, and there are quite a few extra little goodies. And while it's no longer officially accessible, I still think this should be up there with other beloved side features in Pokemon. I just always love when things like this are included because it can only benefit the player by having more to do than just play the base game. You can really tell that it was mostly there to show off the gimmick of connecting to the internet, using the touchscreen, and interacting with other players, but the fact that it's actually a fun experience just goes to show that they kind of cared about the players. Then again, with only a handful of minigames and some cheap trick toys, it doesn't really feel like a theme park like the parade would lead you to believe it is. The Wi-Fi Plaza is much more comparable to a Chuck E. Cheese on a Tuesday afternoon. Decent enough games, decent enough prizes, but at least they have pizza. Oh yeah, but anyway, that was the Wi-Fi Plaza, Generation 4's extra internet side mode. But anyway, hey, this is Gatorx, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to stick around and show your support, there's the subscribe and the like button, all that stuff there. I'm also on Twitter as well. But uh, anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.